he's bouncing around like a he's, oh, wow. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is SD. Today we are checking out the uh, Retail Tycoon 2 Beta. So I don't have any further comments apart from that. So we are just going to jump right into it. So first things first, we're gonna make a slave slot and I am not going to call it partially SD store because that's boring. Uh, yes, yeah, so if you have noticed, I have changed my username to match my uh, YouTube channel username. So at the risk of getting copyrighted, I'm going to do City Market, which is a grocery store brand up in Maple Syrup Land. Here we go. Incorporate. There we have it. So now we're going to have to choose a slot. And all of these are unavailable. Here we go. So we have a nice little grocery store here. There's absolutely nothing inside it. I believe that guy's an employee of some sort. These doors do collide. That's actually kind of cool. I didn't even know that. So yeah, I guess right away, big differences from the original version of the game. No tutorial, but at least I know how the game pretty much works. So I guess we can start by building a little bit. So first things first, obviously, we're going to need some shelves to carry products. So let's set these up. It's R to rotate. And so let's get those, a few of those, maybe like this many. That should be good. And then we can buy a checkout counter. So. Yeah, I guess that's actually different than the original game because in the original game you had to buy a, ca a register with a conveyor belt no matter what. But now you can just buy a desk where people go up and put their stuff like a convenience store, which is actually kind of interesting and might allow for some better creations in the future that I have planned for this. So let's just porch that up and then let's get some stock. So obviously we don't have much that we can buy right now since it's still in beta. But let's start with something simple like canned fruit. So let's see how many we can buy. Let's get a hundred. Oh. So apparently we need a truck of some sort. Interesting. Oh, we do have a truck. So let's go into the garage, I guess, and spawn that. I'm also going to see if I can close my store here. Okay, not f or maybe. Yeah, there we go. So let's place down that truck here. Uh, is this an acceptable place as well? Oh, 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 that's that's kind of interesting. Uh, I guess I wanted to face the other way. Uh, let's click spawn, and then now we have a truck. He's he's not having a very fun. He's bouncing around like a. Oh wow. Okay. Um, yep, that, that's very interesting. So here's the loading dock, it's located under all of the stores apparently. So yeah, let me just back my truck into here. Okay, and now that we're here... Hmm, that's weird, because I do have a truck at the loading. Dock, funnily enough. Oh boy. Maybe we can start with something simple. Let's just try instant delivery because this seems a tad bit buggy. And then see how much I can. There we go. Okay, so here we are, and then here we can press stock shelves, and then... So I'm just wondering how this goes, so yeah, I have that, and then... Oh wow, I've just... wow, okay, that was impressive. I didn't even know I can hold that much. Uh, well, with that said, we need to get our store up and running, so let me just park my truck again. 
and then we shall be open. So as you can see, the customers come up to the desk and then it shows the amount of items that they have. And I don't really need to do anything because it just scans it for me. So that's probably an area of lack for the game where I feel like it could probably use a different element of immersion. I'm just gonna cheat the system a little bit here and kind of sort of do something that might not be cool, but there. Now I have $140,000. So, um, <laughs> uh, let's see what this beta can really do for us. So in a few seconds on the screen, I'll give you an example of a city market. It's a lesser known grocery store in Canada, however, a prominent one. There's a few in each province. It's a division of Superstore. Yes, I know, quite fancy, Superstore. Um, but yeah, that's what I sort of want to base this off of, so. menu we are going to put eggs in these freezers and some of these freezers too and then we're out of stock for that but we do have more room to stock stuff like that so let's see we need 40 what's 40 so that's 40 plus 11 which is 51 plus 36 51 plus 36 is um, 7, 87, right? Apologies for my horrendous math, but um, yeah, okay, let's just get 87. There we go. Oops, close it out again. Okay, so yeah, milk, milk, and then there's the 26 left. And then now we get to the canned foods, and now I'm just realizing how you stock them differently. So let's put some beans up on here. We can put some soup there. Uh, actually, I'm gonna empty that. As you know, no, that's fine. And then let's see. I've just gotta think because we need quite a bit of canned food here. Oops. Did not mean to buy 87. Let's get 23. Just to even it out. Yeah, that's fine. That, that was supposed to be 13, but no big deal. So 
Oops, that's over maximum storage. Oops. 700, can we get 600, 500, no, 400, early not, 300, 350, 360, 375, that should be enough. That should do us well for a while. So yeah, let's finish stacking that. Oh. Oh crap, I bought in 485 cold foods. That's that's quite stupid of me. I really hope I can sell inventory. Please dare do say I can sell inventory because Oh boy. Oh boy, how do we... How do we get ourselves out of this one? Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Okay, so we can get 15 of these right now. That's kind of silly, but I guess we're going to have to do with that because I screwed that up. Oh boy. customers start pulling in. How wonderful. So these shelves look a lot nicer than they did in the older game. They have a bit more texture to them I guess if that's the thing the appropriate thing to say. There's also a lot more new items and so forth which makes the game a little more interactive. And to be fair like the original retail tycoon was was quite lacking. Like, it lacked in experience, and it lacked in things you could do. I finished the game in three days, pretty much. So, I'm just glad that this one is going to allow you to be a little bit more immersive with what you're doing. So, that's, that's just a win in general. This is going to conclude it for this episode of Retail Tycoon 2 Beta. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, then you should consider liking and subscribing. 
If you want to see content similar to this, make sure to check out the channel, and we'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye! Thank you.